let me walk you through what this question is suggesting, okay? So, <clears throat> um, and I'm going to have to remember my own proof, so it's, it's quite complicated. Here is the setup. This is just the setup, okay? Um, you've got ABC, which is any triangle you like. And um, they then join up all these chords and um, this, this guy over here. By the way, this is not a tangent. It doesn't just touch the circle. It cuts right through. Does anyone remember what that's called? It starts with an S. This is a secant, okay, it's a secant. So um, uh, you've got all of these, and then you've got these perpendiculars. I've drawn them in red. Now you can see I use quite a few colors, and I'm gonna use even more, because colors help me to see through the question. They help me focus on different layers of the question at different times. So what they're suggesting is that x, y, and z are, I rubbed it off the board, but they're suggesting that x, y, and z are collinear. Right? So therefore, um, something like this is the case. I'm just going to cheat a little bit. Actually, I'll, I'll make it a bit bigger. Um, you guys have rulers. I do not have a ruler on here. So I'm just going to use the fact that this thing can draw straight lines, which is totally a cheat, sorry. And um, there you go. There is the straight line that they're talking about. Right. So they're trying to suggest that if you draw those perpendiculars, you will get this straight line. Keep in mind, and this is why on your book, it's a dotted line, I think. You don't actually know that this is a straight line. You've got to be careful between what you know and what you have proven to be true. They're not the same thing, okay? But what I'm setting out for is to prove that that's a straight line. That's my goal, okay? So here's my first suggestion, and if you've got another color, I'm going to focus on A, Z, D, and Y. I want to prove that uh, those guys up there, up in that corner, are concyclic, okay? How am I going to do it? I'm going to directly use the result that we proved just like 15 minutes ago, which is that if you have a look at angle AYD, have a look at angle AYD, can you tell me its size? 90. It's 90. It must be. And the reason for that, of course, is because... It's, um, yeah, well, these, these are perpendiculars. The red lines are all perpendiculars. All angles on a straight line, you've got 90 on the other side. Okay? But if this is 90... And you already have this being 90 up here. Tell me, what do those angles there, uh, I'll highlight them for you. What do angle AZD and angle AYD add up to? 180 degrees. But we just showed that if the opposite angles of a, of a quadrilateral are supplementary, like this, then you have four concyclic points. You have a cyclic quadrilateral. Does that make sense? So that's all I needed to show that A, Z, D, and Y are concyclic. The opposite angles are supplementary. I'm done. Okay. So therefore, if you have your compass there, uh, here's one I prepared earlier. So, uh, yeah, yes, I know, convenient, right? Uh, I'm going to have to fiddle with the size for the next one, though, because it's going to be different. There we go. That'll do it. There's A, Z, D, Y. Okay. A, Z, D, Y. Now, at this point, I need to prove a property that's on your sheet, but um, I haven't proved it for you, but it's very, very simple. So just um, bear with me. If you want to maybe off on the side here, draw, draw like a little circle. I don't know why I did that. I have a perfect circle right here. There we go. Okay, now if you have this other circle, um, you can draw uh, angles that do this. They stand on the same arc. So for example, if I name an arc over here, let's call this guy A, B, okay? You can draw a bunch of angles that stand on this arc, say something like this. This guy over here. Can you see that this angle stands on arc AB? Does that make sense? <clears throat> but that's not the only arc that stands on, uh, sorry, not the only angle that stands on arc AB. I could draw another one, say over here. Let's put this guy over in the corner. This angle I've just drawn down here also stands on arc AB. Now, when you have a look at that angle, and if I draw a third one, it should be even more obvious. When you have a look at all three of these angles standing on the circumference, what do they look like? They look like they're the same, right? And in fact, that's why I've labeled them as such. How can I prove that they are the same? It's really, really straightforward. Watch this. Um, the construction that always yields the most insight is the center and some radii. So if I put the center in there, and connect up some radii, like so. Let's call the first angle that I drew, the very, very first angle, let's call that theta. Okay? If that's theta, forget about these guys for a second. What's the red angle? 
Have a look. The red angle in here. The red angle in here clearly has to be 2 theta, right? Do you see why? Because it's the angle at the center standing on the same arc as this angle at the circumference. It even looks like that. That's one of the advantages of circle geometry. A lot of things look that, like they are true. So that guy is 2 theta. Now, if that's 2 theta, I'm going to put these guys back now. If this guy is really 2 theta, now forget about the original angle. What's this purple angle? It has to be theta for the opposite reason, right? This is still another angle at the circumference standing on the same arc, right? So therefore, it's, uh, you've got that doubling relationship. So this guy over there is theta. Uh, and in fact, that guy will also be theta because they're all standing on the same arc, all subtended by that, right? So therefore, when you come back to this guy, and we'll get rid of the red one now, it's not just that they look alike, they really are alike. So the wording that you would put for this, uh, and actually I'm going to pinch the sheet so I give you the right order of words. So if you've got, um, if you've got this guy, <clears throat> the way you would say this is angles, and the word I kept using was standing, right? Uh, remember those legs? Picture the legs. Angles standing on the same arc are what? What are they? They're equal. There you go. Are equal. An alternative um, way to word that is that angles in the same segment are equal. And that's what I put in the brackets on your page. Segment are equal. OK. Now, we're going to use this fact. Okay, I'll come back to this wording if you want it. So um, don't worry if it's disappearing. We'll come back. 